If you're starting out in French, one of the first things you'll need to master are ER verb conjugations. It sounds pretty complicated, but conjugate just means modifying a verb to go with a noun. All the time. Let's look at the conjugation for to run. In English, we don't say, I to run, and this is a regular verb, so we just drop the two, and we have I run, you run, he runs, we run, you run, and they run. Not always. Let's look at an irregular verb you use every day in English, to be. In this case, we get I am, you are, he is, we are, you are, and they are. Sure, let's start with ER verbs. ER verbs are any verbs in French that end with ER. They're all conjugated the same way with only one exception. Like this. This is how you conjugate the verb aimer, to love. All you have to do is drop the ER from the infinitive. Then we have to put on the right endings to match each pronoun. The endings are E, ES, E, ONS, EZ, and ENT. Don't forget to make the je a g apostrophe since the verb starts with a vowel. We've got j'aime, tu m, il m, nous aimons, vous aimez, and ils aiment. Sure, let's look at parler to speak. We have je parle, tu parles, il parle, nous parlons, vous parlez, il parle. You'll notice that these four always sound the same. We call this the boot. You'll see this a lot in French. There is, but don't worry, it's easy. Take the verb manger. Everything in the boot looks fine and vous form is okay, but when you get to the new form, well then we get mangon. Well that just sounds clumsy. So the French put an extra e in there, to smooth it out. Now we have mangeon. So the exception is whenever you have a verb that ends in G-E-R, you have to add an E to the new form to make it sound better. Not really. The three you'll most likely see are manger, to eat, nager, to swim, and partager, to share. I know. Now that you can conjugate ER verbs, you can say all kinds of things.